What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. This is the Memphis League Cup Finals, and we actually saw last round I took down uh, the Ho Oh Turtonator deck with my, uh, I guess, Zark Lycanroc deck. And we actually saw in top eight Brandon take down Espeon Garb in top eight, and now he has advanced to the finals. I forgot what he played against the top four. Oh, no, no, in top four, he actually played another Espeon Garb, so he took those back uh, back down both times. Here I am trying to flip a coin. Hold on, let's try number three. Hold on, let's see. Hold on, here we go, here we go. Take number three. All right, there we go. Third time's the charm, and there we go, guys. But we are going to see a Zark Lycanroc mirror match, which I think it's very, like, it's, it seems like it's pretty easy. Like, whoever gets the Lycanroc set up first almost kind of wins. Um, but it's a little more, I think it's a little more complicated than that. But we're going to see how this match plays out today. We're going to see, you know, best two out of three, 75 minutes. Here is the finals, guys. We're going to see a Lycanroc Zark mirror match, and we're going to see how does it actually play out? So Brandon does win the coin flip, which gives him a huge advantage. Uh, be able to get, you know, bridge it down turn one, start attacking turn two, and start getting set up. So see an Ultra Ball. And go and discards two cards, and you got to think turn one, you know, you got to go for the bridge. And you have to get multiple Zoras, get a Rock Ruff out. We actually see him discard a Kakui and a Field Blower. All right, Kikuri is actually a pretty big card in this matchup. It does allow you get knockouts on Lele, but we're both playing puzzles here, so that's nothing... Too crazy to discard, you can get back a puzzles, and here we go, Brandon's looking through his deck, see what does he want to grab, it looks like he is going to get a Bridget, and they're going to Lele, Bridget, Wonder Tag, and you can see he's actually playing the uh, the different Rock Ruffs and Zora, so we're actually playing different Rock Ruffs and Zoras, I think, you know, the, the Rock Ruffs he are pl he's playing are a little better for the mirror match, um, just because it can one-shot Zoras, and we see him grab two Rock Ruffs, and it looks like a Zora, which is a pretty good turn at number one right now. And does he have a fighting energy to attach turn one? That's always the big question. If he has a fighting energy, he could potentially get attack off next turn. Uh, but it doesn't look like he has an energy in his hand, unfortunately. So it might just be a pass from Brandon onto my turn. And yep, pass onto my turn. All right, so let's see what do we get here. Uh, do we have our own bridge? Does he have Lele in our hand? So we'll Lele, Wonder Tag. Going to find probably just three, uh, you know, Zoras. We already have two Rock Ruffs, and we only played the three the two Lycan Rocks really don't need more than that and I'd rather get three Zoras and get set that set up uh, ASAP uh, yes you do kind of threaten you know a dangerous rogue GX but regardless they're knocking out your Z your Zorks no matter what and here we go we both get the turn one I do get one more one more Pokemon than he does because we did start double rock rough which is very useful and he wants to rain it this Zora to see what it does and I guess we could say you know maybe um Maybe we'll see a, I guess, a Moonless Madness if I play Dark Energies, but I don't play any Dark Energies. <laughs> That'd be pretty crazy to see a Dark Energy Moonless Madness. So we see a Fight Energy go into the Rock Ruff and just pass onto Brandon's turn. Alright, so see what Brandon finds here. Does he find, you know, in the perfect world, Brandon finds a Zark, maybe a way to bring up that Rock Ruff, take a knock on it, and get rid of that Fighting Energy because a turn two like Rock attacking with Claw Slash is never fun to, to fight against. But we see an Ultra Ball, good to start two cards from Sands. You gotta think this finds a, you know, a Zark. You can start attacking, find a DC, and just start setting up here. So Ultra Ball, this card's a Mallow and a Floodstone. Now, the Mallow's very interesting. Looks like he's eyeballing a Sycamore. Looks like he's actually gonna go for a Juniper, or a Sycamore, or for a Light Life, for his Juniper. Um, which is uh, kind of in a, in a weird situation because then you're filling your bench up. You don't have three Zarks down. I think you really do need the three Zarks in the mirror match or just overall. So it looks like he is going to grab a Zark. I think I would have kept the Mallow um, just because the Mallow allows you to grab a DCE and a Lycanroc this turn. He can like Mallow, put the Lycanroc DCE on top, bring up the Rock up, take a knockout, take our only real attack off the field. Uh, but it looks like instead he's going to put the like the Zark down, uh, trade, discard the Choice Span, draw two cards, okay. And like I said, he could have Mallow there, but he looks like he looks like he wants to hit a Sycamore instead or something like that. And let's see what's in his hand now. Maybe he has a different supporter card. He wants to play that instead. Uh, looks like he has some good to like rock. Okay, does he have the DCE? I don't see one. I see an Ultra Ball in hand. Uh, the Ultra Ball could have got him a Lele. Maybe it brought him another, you know, like maybe, you know, find a supporter card. We see him bring up Azora and just pass on to our turn. So now it's kind of up to us um, to find like a DCE, a Lycan Rock. Uh, we see Azora coming down. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got a trade, discarding a Lele. We really don't need those anymore. We have to already have two bitch Pokemon. Uh, can we get a 
DCE playoff or not. So we see a Fighter JB attached to the Rock Ruff. Uh, we see a Lycanroc come down, no Bloodthirsty Eyes, and an end. If we can find a Floatstone here, we will be able to get a knockout uh, this turn with our Zor Lycanroc. But no matter what, he really can't knock out our own Lycanroc, just because our Lycanroc, you know, has 200 HP. Um, he can't, you know, Zora can't do 200 HP in, the, in standard format. The max it could do is like 150, 170. Uh, so it can't really one-shot that Lycanroc. So... Can I find a Floatstone is going to be the question. I do play two on my list, where I most lists just play the one that I've seen. Uh, here we go. Six new cards coming out. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. So I see a Choice Fan. I do not see a uh, Floatstone just yet. So uh, that's not a Sark. <laughs> there we go. So Sark being involved there. Uh, we see a Trade. Discard a Kikui. Draw two new cards. Okay, and there's the Floatstone, so we do get the Floatstone off the second trade. Uh, so we can Floatstone the active, retreat into the uh, Lycanroc, but we will have to use Dangerous Rogue GX for the knockout, which is pretty bad because you kind of want to save the Dangerous Rogue for the Lycanroc, but still, taking the knockout here, going out of four prize cards, and Brandon, you know, he gets hacked with his, his Zark, but that's pretty much it. So on his turn, going to draw a card, and now what he's looking for is maybe, you know, I don't know. Maybe put a fighter energy in the Lycanroc because he really can't do anything outside of that. He can't really, you know... Uh, he doesn't want to put a decent on the, on the Zora because then it gets knocked out. So that's not really nice. So you have the fighter energy going out to Lycanroc. And what else does he have here? Okay, let's see what else he's got. Looks like he has maybe a Guzma in hand. Uh, maybe another Lycanroc. So he's going to bring the, he's gonna put another Lycanroc down. Bring up the Zark, which he can't attack this turn. Uh, but still going to bring the, the Zark. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if I, I like these Lycanrocs that are coming out for Brandon. I kind of want to save. You always kind of want to save your Lycanrocs when you're taking knockouts. But we do have a strong energy. Uh, maybe strong energy. Maybe Guzma. Break up his Lycanroc if we can find that. Maybe Floatstone and something else to, I don't know, Floatstone our own Lycanroc to break up his Lycanroc. Their plan now is definitely to try to hurt that bench Lycanroc. So one trade. Uh, Guzma bring up his Lycanroc, okay, and we'll uh, be able to swing this turn. We're not taking a knockout, but we'll do heavy damage to the Lycanroc. Uh, we'll do 130 damage, which means we can knock on the next turn with a DCE. And there we see a, a trade. I thought I was in there for a second. I got scared. Uh, so that is the second trade already, and we will see a 130 damage coming down onto that Lycanroc. All right, so 130 coming online. And now, yeah, he can ace Sorola, but then he can't attack. He can go for a Dangerous Rogue GX, but then we take a knockout of him, and we'll go down to four, to go down to two prize cards. So we're in a very good position right now, as it seems. So see an Ultra Ball. This kind of two cards from his hand. Probably wants to find a, like, a Zark, maybe, just starting to trade off. Uh, he definitely needs an Energy card this turn to go for that Dangerous Rogue GX. It would take a knockout. Uh, but we haven't played any DCEs yet, so we should have four left in our deck, unless we prize multiple. So, we'll see the Zara come down, we'll see a trade, discarding a choice band, draw two new cards. Alright, so one and two. And does he find a N? Because uh, that definitely could hurt us a little bit, just ending us down to a low hand size. But do we have double trade? Okay, so that's really nice. Uh, but let's see what he gets here. It looks like he is going to go for a enhanced hammer. Just grab the strong energy of the active. I guess he's doing this just in case he whiffs the fighting energy and can't go for that dangerous rogue GX. So maybe he wants to put in the discard pile to go for a puzzle time later on. Uh, but we are going to see N. Maybe he wants to discard it so that way he's not drawing into it. So that way he can find more Zoras. Maybe into the rock rub, but now it's going to be on to us to find a DCE. If we find a DCE, we'll be able to knock out this like rock and go out to down to two prior cards. Right now it's six to four, but that is going to change here in a second. We are going to see a dangerous rogue doing 250 damage. So there we go. Both players are going to get some new cards here. I get four. Our Brandon gets the six. Okay, but can we find a, a DCE? That's going to be the question here of the day. So. Brandon's gonna look through his discard pile. Does he have maybe like double puzzle to get like a Zora out? Maybe he wants to get something else out of the discard pile. Um, he's already traded the choice band away. Um, I think, yeah, I think he already traded. Maybe I'm, maybe he has that. I think he has though. And yeah, we're gonna see a, a Dangerous Rogue GX for the knockout. No, we're actually gonna see a Claw Slash here for 110 damage. Okay, so it looks like he wants to save. That dangerous rogue for maybe the last two price cards. We see a fighter going to a strong energy going to the active, which allows to take a knockout. Uh, we see a, a trade number one discarding a Bridget. 
All right, so you have to not take a knockout this turn. All right, that's very interesting. All right, so that's one trade. We see a second trade, maybe. Let's see here. What else are we going to decide to do? Uh, maybe we have really good cards in our hand. We don't want to trade anything away. You see we kind of debate what to do here. Um, yeah, so, we're, I mean, yeah. We, I guess we'll just call a special knockout. There's a second trade. Okay. That is all of our trades. We have, looks like, Puzzle on hand, which doesn't really do anything right now. And we're just going to Claw Slash for the knockout, going down to two price cards. All right. So now we're two to six. Uh, we see Brandon whispering that Zark. I guess, like I said, maybe he wanted to conserve that Dangerous Rogue GX for, like, the last two price cards or something. Uh, we see Double Puzzle in his hand, which Double Puzzle will allow him to get, like, a DCE and maybe another Pokemon. Uh, right now, he's only doing 60, which doesn't knock out the uh, Lycanroc. Also, guys, you like those dice? Those are by uh, TC Evolutions. If you've never seen those before, if you missed those dice. But yeah, that's. I mean, it's even the last video, uh, but now I'm using them in this video. I guess I just, you know, switch out dice on accident. Uh, but yeah, we see a DC going to his hand. <clears throat> we see a. And let's see what else he's trying to get here. Look like he's debating the N. Okay. Uh, but right now, he's not taking a knockout with the Zark. It's only doing 60. Alright, so a DC to the active. Choice band and that will allow him to do an act uh, take a knockout. We'll do 90 damage exactly and we see an N uh, We'll be brought down to two cards. All right. Can we find a DCE? That is gonna be the question. We find a DCE. We can still attack. Uh, we could also go for like a Kikui um, Lycanroc Kikui like a Lycanroc Zark No, wait, hold on A DC on the Zark uh, Lycanroc bring up his Tapu Lele Play a choice fan, play a Kikui. It's a lot of cards to ask for, especially when we're only getting two here. <laughs> so we only get two cards off the end. Uh, Brandon will get six, and maybe this is the comeback Brandon wants to have. Maybe he wants to, you know, make us take a lot of price cards in the end this then low hand sized, and we can't find another uh, DCE to attack. But you gotta think we'll be able to find one because we haven't really, you know, used any of our DCEs. They're all still in our deck. We haven't, we literally haven't put one down yet. So see Azar come to the X spot for me. Oh no, I turn, go to draw a card, and can we find a DCE or not? That's going to be the question here. Alright, so you see my hand, I'm debating what to do here. I guess I don't have a DCE immediately, because I would have probably just slammed it down. We see a Mind Jack Zora come down, and we see a Sycamore. Go ahead and discard her hand, draw seven new cards. Now, Mind Jack could be very useful for the mirror match if he does put a bunch of Pokemon down, uh, which he doesn't really have a bunch down as of right now. He only does three, six, you know... 70 damage was not too threatening. Uh, let's see, what else do we get here? We see Ultra Ball. Just got an Ultra Ball and a Tapu Lele. Probably grabbing another Zora, I imagine. Maybe another Rock Ruff. Uh, looks like we are going to grab another Rock Ruff. Probably the other Zora's prize. Or maybe I discarded I just don't remember. Uh, but man, we still haven't seen a DCE just yet. We, but we do have double trade. Uh, trade will allow us to dig deeper. Try to find a DCE and take a knockout this turn. All right, can we find? We got a choice band in hand. We kind of want to hold on to that. Uh, okay, trade number one. Okay, do we? Okay, I see another. All right, I don't think we have it yet because, like I said, if we had it, we would have slammed it down probably. Let's say I'm debating what to do here. And let's see. Uh, I have a puzzle time, so I think what I'm debating on is do I want to puzzle to rearrange top three cards of my deck, and I, that's what I would do here. And you can see I do have a DC in there. Um, we've already played one puzzle. We could have maybe hold the puzzle and like done like a double puzzle trick where you can like double puzzle for a puzzle and another card and then you have the second puzzle to use later on. Uh, but this time I want to, you know, use the puzzle, rearrange top three cards over deck and make sure we have a way to swing this turn. So send the Zark, we'll enhance the hammer, discard the DC off the active as well. Man, alright, so I uh, got the DC and enhanced hammer his DC off and we will riot his beating for 120 damage. All right, so Brandon will take the 120 damage, and it's up to him to retaliate. Uh, but if he attacks with the Zark, it's most likely going to be game over. Um, yeah, Ooh, that's, yeah, that's not good. So <clears throat> let's see what Brandon decides to do here. <clears throat> um, looks like he's eyeballing it in. Maybe he has another puzzles. I don't know if he's already played a bunch or not. I can't really remember. Um, yeah, he's got DC in the discard pile. He only, I think he only has the one DCE, though, because he double puzzle. Okay, he is eyeballing two puzzles. So, yeah, he get double puzzle. This will be his last two sets of puzzles. Um, so, is he a Lele? Going to use Wonder Tag? Okay, let's see what he decides to find here. Maybe find an N? 
Um, looks like he's eyeballing Goose. Okay, no, there's an Ace Roll. Okay, so Ace Roll King, you know, put the Zorak back into his hand. Uh, so yeah, gonna grab the Ace Roll. It wants to save his Zorak from being knocked out next turn. All right. Uh, but I wonder if we could. Do, I hope we can do that Lycanroc play where we just like Lycanroc, uh, choice spin, knockout, Kikui kind of thing, and we see Ace Roll picking up that heavily damaged Zorg. And let's see who uh, Brandon decides to send up. Maybe a. I mean, he sends up a Lele. We don't even need. Uh, we don't even need the Lycanroc. We just need Kikui and choice Band. So here we see the Lele coming to the act spot. Okay. All right. There's a DC going down to the Lycanroc. All righty. So he's not gonna be able to attack this turn. Maybe we can find another Enhanced Hammer. Uh, he wants to see the Mind Jack Zork, see what it does. Uh, Mind Jack's just a really good attacker. Like I said, it's really good in the mirror match. You can kind of punish your opponent for playing a full bench. Uh, so, yeah. But we do have the Lycanroc in hand. So, Lycanroc will allow us to bring out that bench uh, Lycanroc and do damage to it. We see a Zora coming down as well. We don't care too much about that. We definitely just want to do pressure on that Lycanroc. That definitely is the scarier of the two cards out there. Uh, bottom of my turn. I'm going to pass. And can we find a way to knock out a Lele? We'll see a trade number one. Okay. Alrighty. We need to find a Kikui and Choice Man. Trade and number two. Can we find it or not? That is the question. I see a puzzle. I know there's at least a Kikui in our discard pile, I think. Oh, man. But do we have it or not? I see a Guzma. Uh, Guzma will allow us to bring his Lycanroc to the active without using our own Lycanroc. All right. So now you can do that. Go for Riot's beating for 120 and put the pressure back on Brandon one more time to try to find an Acerola. All right. So Brandon's going to draw some cards. He does have Double Puzzle. Double Puzzle will allow him to go for that you know, Ace Roll up play, put the DC back into his hand, sit up his aura, and go for a Riotous Beating here. That definitely seems like the best play for sure. Alright, so Brandon, man, this is a, <laughs> it's a weird, it's a weird match. We're just grinding it out right now. So, see, double puzzle. Okay, there's Zora coming down. Like I said, we knew he had that from last turn when he Ace Roll it. We see a trade, draw two new cards. I mean, he could put a fine energy on the Lycanroc, um, but that seems very, very risky. You're just hoping we don't have a DCE, um, which we probably should have multiple DCEs. We've only played the one so far in the active spot, so we have three left overall. Uh, we, we have double trade. I mean, he could, fighting energy, uh, take a knockout this turn and in us as well. So we see a Layla coming down. All right, let's see what Lele finds here. He does have Guzma in the deck. I see a Guzma. I see an N. Let's see. My, my eyeball the N. And with this, I think he's going to go for that. I'm going to attach, I think he's going to go for, like, I'm going to attach a Fighting Energy play and knock out your Zark this turn. Uh, we will see a double puzzle. Get two cards out of his discard pile. He's going to grab a Fighting Energy. And maybe another Zora. Um, that could be really good. Maybe the, the he looks like he's eyeballing the Field Blower as well. Maybe get the Flowstone off the bench uh, Zark. So we see Field Blower and Fighting Energy go to his hand. Okay. So we see a Fighting Energy be attached to Lycanroc. We'll see a field blower getting rid of our flow stone. There's a choice man city active as well. We see a field blower get rid of his flow stone, and he's going to end us down to a low hand size, down to two cards. But the good thing about our mind jack um, <clears throat> Zork is we can, you know, sit up a rock up this turn when our like our Zork gets knocked out and force him to have a Guzma the following turn. A Guzma in the way to retreat. Um, if he doesn't put a Zorak down, because Mind Jack can just go in with, I mean, he can just stand in, take a knockout of Mind Jack. Right now, it's doing 3, 6, 9, 12. It's doing 130 damage, which can knock out his uh, Lycanroc. So that's one good thing about the Zorak and our, this Mind Jack Zorak in our deck. So we'll get two cards. All we need to find is a DCE. Uh, no matter what, though, you promote the Rock Rough here, because it does have that free retreat. Uh, does he put down another Pokemon? Looks like we're seeing Energy Lotto. Uh, look at top, what, seven cards of his deck? Six. I forget how many it is. I think it's seven or six. I uh, see a DC going to his hand, so this will allow him to go for that Guzma, uh, you know, the, the Guzma DC retreat play uh, for next turn. Take a knockout with his Lycanroc. Like I said, he hasn't used his Dangerous Rogue GX attack. He saved it, and it looks like it might pay off for him. So here we go. Two to two price cards. We'll set up our Rock Ruff. We do have that stand in Zark, like I said. On our turn. Uh, let's see. Do we find it or not? And uh, there we see a Choice Man being attached to the Zark. We see uh, trade number one, one and two. Find the DCE, we'll stand in, and we will mind jack for the knockout. 
All right, so there you go. Oh, we did have a DCE price, so we did have one price, but still two left in the deck. Uh, we did have an in as well, so we could have in Brandon down a low hand size. He would only had one trade. He would need a Guzma, like I said, and a, and a DCE to trade or some kind of energy. Uh, so there you go. That's game number one. All right, so that was a very exciting match there. Like I said, Brandon, you know, he could have knocked out whoever he wanted to next turn. He had that dangerous rogue GX ability ready to go uh, because he, only, he didn't use his GX tag, which actually did pay off. Um, you know, he used that claw slash early on, didn't, you know, waste his GX tag, which I, I think was a good play for sure overall, as you see in the end. It did almost, it did almost pay out for sure. But, I mean, our Light Krog is able to take another knockout, so I don't know how it really... I wonder how that kind of works out. I don't know. Uh, but still, it's a very close game, number one. But this is best two out of three, guys. We'll see another game with this mirror match. And we're going to see what is going to happen, guys. I, I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to happen in game number two. Can, uh, can I take the home with a win? Will Brandon get a win? We go to game number three. Who knows? We're both going to set up, shuffle up, and see if we can both start bridging. That's definitely, like, the, uh, the number one thing here is can you start... Bridget if you start Bridget, that's you know, that's what you want to do the mirror match That's why you play like three or four of them. So <clears throat> both of the seven new cards. Let's see. What do we find here? What do we get? Uh, let's see Brandon. It looks like he does have a rock rough. All right, so he's got the rock rough I'll see what do we find do we find a Pokemon or not? It looks like we might have a mulligan. Nope. We do find somebody. All right. Oh, no nope, find a mulligan here All right, nothing special about the hand. Uh, this is a very straightforward mirror match I think the only thing is I play like a I play a couple of different cards. I don't play the Mellow that we saw he play that Brandon saw in his deck. Uh, I do play like Mind Jack Zark. I do play more Ace Rolls than him probably. Most of us play like one where I play two. Uh, I think it is a little better uh, just having the two in there. But yeah, all right. So both gonna we're gonna shuffle up here, trying to you know find a Pokemon. Uh, we know Brandon is starting a Rock Rock, but you gotta think he's got that turn one Bridget to put down three base Pokemon and help get set up. So Dunk. Realistically, it's probably not going to happen this game. All right. So let's see. What do we get with these seven new cards? Can we find a Bridget? Maybe get set up here. So three, four, five, six, seven. All righty. Let's see. What do we start here, guys? We do have a Lele start. Maybe we could start Lele, but I don't know. We'll start the Rock Ruff instead. It seems like a very uh, smarter play. Smarter play? Smart play? I don't know. All right, so there we go. There's the head check on the game. Number two, we both start Rock Ruff here. All righty. So Brandon's going to draw first turn. Will we see that turn when Bridget or not? That is going to be the million-dollar question. He does have a fighting energy, which will allow him to get that Zark attack, start attack, or not the Lycanroc, start attacking by turn number two, put the early pressure on us. So we did that last game to him. So see fighting energy going to the active. Um, does he have, okay, there is an end. So he is going to end this turn. All right, so both going to shuffle up, find six new cards, and, you know, attach the fighting energy to the, the rock of us. You know, it seems good, but if he doesn't find another Pokemon, what realistically could happen is we find a Floodstone, a Tapu Lele, a DCE, and we can energy drive for the knockout doing 60 damage. All right, so we're both going to shuffle up here, and let's see, what do we start... What, what what can we find here? Can we find a Tapu Lele DCE knock out his Rock Ruff and take and steal game number two? All right, so both go find six new cards here. So six for me, six for Brandon. Can he find another Pokemon? And let's see. And he does have a Lele in hand, and he has an Ultra Ball as well. Okay, I think he has an Ultra Ball in hand. I think that's what I see. Yeah, there's an Ultra Ball in there. He's got a Lele. We will see a Wonder Tag. All right, uh, yeah, he's got a Wonder Tag here. I think I would have just Ultra Ball for Pokemon to keep the Lele in hand. Um, no really need to... I, mean, I guess, you know, Wonder Tag does find you a Bridget for next turn. It makes sure you don't get knocked out. But you do have an Ultra Ball to find, like, another Pokemon. But... Maybe Brayden wants to be like, hey, if you knock him out my Rock Ruff, I'm going to roll my Lele. Uh, but no, we see him Lele for an end. I thought he would have Lele for a Bridget for next turn. But he's going to grab an in instead, okay. Alright, so in's going to go to his hand. Maybe he prizes all of his bridges, I have no idea. Uh, but we're going to see most likely pass onto our turn. Alright, so we're going to draw a card. Do we find a bridge turn one? We do have a Lele to hand, and Lele will allow us to find a bridge no matter what. Um, now, you're going to see people think about what, what to do. What to do here? What do I get with this hand? And you're going to see me debate. And the reason why I'm debating is um, I can go for 
like I said, the energy drive play and knock out his rock off. If we can knock out his rock off for the fighting energy, we can set it back a whole turn. You know, he you had to waste two turns to basically power up a lichen rock. So I'm debating there. Do I grab the Bridget? Do I grab a Sycamore? Like, oh man, you see me trying to, try to think there. Do I try to go aggressive, take a knock on this rock off? Or do I play, you know, kind of laid back, go for the Bridget and start setting up? We're going to see here, look at, I'm just debating what do I want to do? Oh man, I don't know. Which card should I get? You see me trying to figure out what to do. Uh, but in all honesty, what happens is I prize one of my two float stones, and I'm like, man, the gamble of me hitting the DC and the one float stone in my deck is very really unlikely. So I'd rather get set up here, find a rock off of two Zoras, and just get, you know, just set up that way. You really don't want to go too aggressive. And we know he has an N in hand, so he doesn't have a Bridget. He has to go for N. Um,. Or maybe he already has a bridge in hand. I have no idea. I don't know what his hand. Um, but we see a bridge again, two Zoras and a Rock Ruff. Okay. I uh, do have my own fighting energy. That could be really beneficial. Uh, we do have a DC in hand. But I really don't want to put down the DC because he does play Enhanced Hammers, which is very weird to say. Well, most likely we'll just see a pass onto Brandon's turn. I don't think I'll attach a DC. Oh, okay. Strong energy will be attached. There we go. Uh, another risky card. Um, like I said, he plays Enhanced Hammer, so he could Enhanced Hammer the Strong Energy off the Rock Ruff. But on Brand's turn, let's see what happens. Um, he's got an Ultra Ball in hand, I know that for sure. So there's an Energy Lotto, gonna look at top cards of his deck. Does he find Energy 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? <laughs> there I am picking up the Energy Lotto, I'm like, man, okay. <laughs> I, I don't play against Energy Lotto a lot. Um, it's a very high risk, high reward kind of card. It did pay off there, where he did find a DCE for his Rock uh, his uh, his Rock Ruff. Um, but remember, he does have an Ultra Ball in hand. Ultra Ball will lo allow him to grab a Lycan Rock, and he's definitely gonna bring up that bench Rock Ruff and smack him in the face for the knockout. That's definitely like the 100% correct play. So is he a DCE being attached to the Rock Ruff? Okay. We'll most likely see an Ultra Ball. Discarded two cards from Sand. Find a Rock Ruff, or find a Lycan Rock. Bring up our bench. Ro oh, he already has a Lycan Rock in hand. Doesn't even need to use the Ultra Ball. We're going to bring up a Rock Ruff. <clears throat> He's going to take the first knockout here uh, with the Claw Slash. He has in an Ultra Ball in hand. All right, so let's see Ultra Ball. Going to discard two cards from his hand. Let's see what he decides. Discard. And go ahead and discard a. Is that another Lycan Rock being discarded? Yeah, that's a Lycan Rock being discarded in a Sycamore. And we're going to see a Zora coming down. All right, so Zora hitting the field. And remember, he does have the N. <coughs> so he can N. Uh, both get some new cards here. Unless he wants to hold the N. Maybe he doesn't want to play it. And nope, there's the N. So both of them get six new cards here. I guess that one card in his hand must have been like a, a really, really good card. Because he didn't Ultra Ball it away. Nor did he Sycamore it away. So it must have been like, maybe, an, I don't think it was another energy. Because he used Energy Lotto. Unless he just wanted, maybe it was a puzzle. That's that's what I can think it is. Maybe it was a puzzle time. That definitely seems like a card you don't want to discard. It's very, very, very useful. But here we go. Six new cards come for me. Six for Brandon. And uh, yeah, we're going to see what's going to happen here. Does he find another Zora to try to get that set up? Uh, look at his discard pile. See what's already played. He already has, he has double puzzle on hand as well. And we're going to see a knockout. <clears throat> we're going to send the Lele and onto our turn. Let's see what is going to happen. Now. With the Lele, what we could do is maybe go for Energy Drive and try to two-shot this guy. So there's a DC, a uh, choice may be attached. We see Enhanced Hammer discard the DC off his active. We see a Zor coming down. Okay. So right now this Lele is doing 20, 40, 60, 90. It does 90 damage, and there we see an N. Now, the 90 damage is very relevant because next turn, what we could do is actually riot his beating to knock out his Lycan Rock, even if he commits like an Energy to knock out our Lele. Uh, which is really, really good. Uh, so that's a good thing here. This 90 damage really does matter a lot. So that's nice. Uh, so both going to get 6 new... Our brand is going to get 5. We're going to get 6. And we're definitely looking for more bench Pokemon on our side of the field. So let's see. Does Brandon find maybe another... Maybe a Zork? Maybe another Zora? Uh, do we find other bench Pokemon as well? We get 6 new cards. There's a Rock Rock coming down. Um, do we have another Zork? I think that's where we're trying to get is another Zark here. I, I would I want to see why we wouldn't get another uh, another Zark. So Ultra Ball, just gonna kind of Ultra Ball and Field Blower, grab a Zark. So now we have double trade, and now like I said, we we can most likely get that turn to knockout on his Zark or his Lycan Rock. We're definitely set up plays here, which is really really nice. Uh, can he take a knockout? Sure, if he finds, uh, I mean, if he finds 
Um, uh, any kind of energy. He take a knockout next turn. So we see a trade discarding a Lycanroc. All right, looks like we hit another Lycanroc. <laughs> oh, we see a second trade. All right, discarding the Ace Roll, draw two new cards. We find a Field Blower, which is really not that useful. And we're going to see Energy Drive for 90 damage. Like I said, it does set up where we can take a knockout this turn. Uh, Brandon does have a Zark in hand, okay. He could put down the Zark, but does he have an Energy? Any kind of Energy will allow him to do a Dangerous Rogue GX for the knockout. Alrighty. Let's see, Brandon will put down the Zark. Yep, Zark coming down, okay. Uh, he's got a Guzma. There's a trade number one. Does he find a fine energy? If not, he's going to be in trouble. Look at those discard piles. See what's all in there. What does he want to do? Oh, man. Does he have a fighting energy? I don't see one in hand right now. All right. So that's not good for Brandon. He doesn't have an energy yet. No double puzzle. If they ever see another Lele hitting the field for Brandon, let's see what he decides to get here. Maybe another in. I don't think he wants to really Sycamore discard his hand. Uh, that's a lot of cards to discard. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe he's fine with Sycamore in a way. I don't know. Or maybe we'll see another end here. Uh, he's already played two so far. Looks like he is going to eyeball another end and just try to get a new hand of six. Try to find energy to take a knockout on our Tapu Lele. Who would have thought Tapu Lele would put this much pressure on our opponent? All right. So, we're going to see end most likely. He's got a choice span. Uh, choice span. You know, I guess you could attach it so that way you don't draw back into it. But Choice Spins are really valuable for your Zork to go for that Lele play. You know, knock out Lele, all that kind of stuff. So you see an end. Both players are going to draw some new cards. All we need to find is a DC for next turn to knock out his Lycanroc. Well, a DC and a full bitch. That's a thing as well. We need to find a full bitch and a DCE. So we'll both get some new cards here. Uh, Brandon will get five. We get six. If he takes a knockout, he'll go down to three and uh, take it, start, you know, taking a lead for sure. So gonna put some cards in our hand. He's going. Yeah, all, right, all right. So does Brandon find an energy? That's all we care about. Does Brandon find an energy? And he does have a strong energy. All right. So he will be able to take a knockout this turn. And Regardless, it didn't matter how many rock cuffs to put down because Dangerous Rogue GX would have taken a knockout, especially with the strong energy. And we knew he had a choice span, so that's why I benched both the rock cuffs. Um, I know some people might be saying benching the two was probably a misplay, but he's most likely going to take a knockout no matter what. Uh, he just needed a strong energy or a choice span plus an energy. So we'll set up the rock rough, uh, which might seem confusing, but I probably have a flow stone in my hand that I'm committing to the rock rough. Um, we also have a fighting energy as well. Um, that could maybe do something for us. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, yeah, we don't have the guaranteed knockout. So maybe that's... Okay, we do have the Flowstone in hand. So that's, that's nice. So you can Flowstone the Bench Rock Rock. They would see a Light Rock come down. We'll probably not see it. Uh, but Bloodthirsty Eyes just playing it down. Because uh, we probably have Sycamore in hand and just want to dig. Uh, yes, there's Sycamore. Now, we discard a Lele, which is probably, in hindsight, a misplay, because we really need a bench of six to take a, a bench of five to take a knockout. Uh, okay, so there's our Zora coming down. We'll see a trade number one. Okay, another Lycanroc coming to Duran. We'll see probably another trade here. Man, all right, so we'll see another trade. Okay, there's DC, all right, but we do we have the knockout? And yeah, there's a choice man, so now we have the knockout. So one, two, three, four, five, 130 damage, which will now now allow us to knock out his Lycanroc and go down to four price cards. We do have another trade, but I guess we're just not going to use it. Maybe there's a lot of good cards in my hand or something like that. But on a Brandon's turn, he's got the Zork. He gets started attacking with that 20, 40, 60. He does 90 right now, which is not too crazy. Um... Some things we could do, like I said, next turn, we can go for that crazy Kikui knockout play. Like, I keep I keep hyping up about. I really want to see a Kikui knockout on a on a Lele. That's what I want to see. I want to see it happen. This is why the deck's here. This is why the deck's so good, because they're allowed to do this, like, this, like you know, like Rock, bring up your Lele, Kikui, take a knockout. Kind of like, uh, kind of like, it's almost like cheating, because uh, you're not playing a double supporter. All right, so we see Ultra Ball. From Brandon, go ahead and discard two cards from his hand. Discard a strong energy, and let's see what else he discards here. So strong energy and a Kikui. Okay, so you're gonna discard those two. Probably gonna find uh, a Lele or a Zora. Uh, maybe a supporter card for next turn. Maybe he wants to find a Sycamore because he really can't end right now. <clears throat> An end will only get him three cards, and he has to find a DCE this turn. So we'll see. Um, Brandon 
Look through his hand. He's going to grab the Lele. We're going to see a Wonder Tag. Man, he has three bench Lele. That is insane right now. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so probably most likely see a Sekimar. Uh, he does have it one in left in there. Ooh, is he going to go for in? Man, in seems so risky because he only gets three cards off this. No, he's going to go for Sycamore, which I think is a little bit better of a play to try to dig and try to, you know, swing this turn. At least try to do some damage with the Zark. Uh, so we're going to see, you know, uh, feel, a full still going to the, uh, the Lele. He does have a field blower in hand, which can get rid of our tools. We see a puzzle time. Got to rearrange top three guards of a stack. Uh, so maybe he can, like, trade first if he wants to. Uh, which we might see that happen. Uh, field blower, get rid of both our tools. Okay. Makes, makes it a little bit harder for us to go for that play I want to do. And we see a Sycamore just wants to discard his hand, draw him seven new cards. I guess the, he... I mean, like I said, he has a trade ability, but maybe the next three cards were somewhere useful, and he didn't want to second more of them away. I guess that was happening. Uh, but he does find a DC. So he'll be, he'll be able to go for the right he's beating here. Uh, like I said, do 110 damage, 20, 40, 60, 80, 8, 9, and 11. 110 damage. All right, another Zora coming down, so he can do even more damage. Uh, oh, 130 now. Was he a DC to the active? So he will be able to two-shard a Zorak, but maybe... We go for Ace Roller Play, pick up our Zorg. Um, there's a lot of things that can happen our turn. There's a lot of things that we can see happen. So we're going to see 130 damage come down. He does have an Ultra Ball. Okay, no, going to trade first. Okay, draw two new cards. <clears throat> like I said, he does have an Ultra Ball, which can allow him to find another Rock Ruff this turn. If he has one in deck, which he should. I think he should have Rock Ruff. Oh, it looks like he's actually going for Double Puzzle here. Um, oh, he's got Stretcher. All right, so Stretcher, put a Rock Ruff in hand. I think that's what we're going to see here. So you have the Rock Ruff going to his hand. Going to put it down. And then we'll see a, a Riot is beating for 150 damage. <laughs> All right. So 150 damage. Coming down to this, uh, the Zark. Brennan's now like super set up here. He's got like, you know, he, he can have two Zarks next turn. Maybe a Light Rock. And on to our turn to see what is going to happen. Uh, once again, that 150 damage counter is really nice. If you've never seen those before, those are TC Evolution dice. So make sure... You uh, look into those if you ever want those. Uh, we did talk about those in a video once. But <clears throat> on my turn, I do have a Lele in hand. Oh, man. Please let me be able to do this Kikui play. If I can do this Kikui play, uh, we have to find a Choice Band and a Like Rock. We have to find those two cards so I can knock on the bench Lele. Oh, man. I just want to do that play so bad. All right. So look at my hand. See what I want to do here. I think I see a Choice Band as well. I think what right now what I'm doing is like, I just want to make a game plan here. I just want to figure out how do I want to do this play. I do have an Ultra Ball, which I can Ultra Ball first, see what's in my deck, and then go for Lele Wonder Tag. All right, so see Trade, discarding a Rock Ruff, drawing two new cards. We have a Fighting Energy, okay? And if we can go for this, like, this Riot is beating, I'm going to knock out your Lele play. I can put it a Fighting Energy on a on the Lycanroc and make it where we can Dangerous Rogue GS take out knockout on anybody we want to. Uh, see Ultra Ball discarding it in. Let's see what other card we decide. Discard. We're going to discard a Lycanroc. Alright, so we discard a Lycanroc. Okay. Uh, I think I have Double Puzzle Hand, which is, I think, I think that's why I'm doing this right now. Um, but we're going to see what, what I decide to get here. I think I'm just seeing what's in my deck. So there's a Zork coming down. Okay. We can put the Zork down to have three Zorks and start trading three times, uh, which is really nice. Uh, like I said, Mind Jack is somewhat useful. Um, right now, Mind Jack does 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 160, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You can one shot a Zork with a full bench Mind Jack. And there we see Lele for the Kikui. Oh, man. Are we going to see the play coming? All right. So Kikui going to her hand. All right, I think we're going to see a play here. So, Fight Energy to that Lycanroc. Double Puzzle. Oh, man, for a uh, Lycanroc. And let's see what other card we decide to get here. So, we'll be able to do this play and a Fighting Energy. Uh, we're just trying to make sure we have multiple outs to a Dangerous Rogue next turn. Going to put those two cards in our hand. Oh, man, we're about to go off this turn. So, Lycanroc, bring up a Lele with the Flowstone. Want to get rid of his free Retreater. Choice Spin the Active. And Kikui drawn two new cards. Oh, man. So now we are good to go. We have the knockout. We see another Zark coming down as well. We see a, a, a trade discarding two new cards. Or discarding drawn two new cards. We have an enhanced hammer as well. Oh, my goodness. This this turn is so crazy. And we see another trade discarding Ultra Ball drawn two new cards. 
Wow, so much has happened this turn, and we'll see a Riot is baiting for the knockout. Uh, we cuckooed, we choice spin, we got a full bench, we took a knockout, we got rid of a DCE, and now we are in the driver's seat. My goodness, we can go for a Dangerous Rogue GX, uh, knock out whoever wants you next turn. Uh, it does do 200 damage right now, and now, I mean, you gotta think we pretty much have this game locked up right now. So on a Brent's turn... Let's see, he has to find a choice, uh, he has to find a DC first of all, he hasn't played, he, I mean, yeah, he has to find a DC this turn, that's the key here, so he even took a knockout, he has to find a DC. So, see Brandon, look through his Instagram file, see what he want to do here, uh, da -da -da, look it through there, maybe he wants to go for a DC. oh man guys, this is, this is exciting times, this is exciting times, alright. So see, what does Brandon have? He has a goose on him. He's got an Ultra Ball. He's got a puzzle. I don't think the puzzle time really is going to matter too much right now. We see a trade. Discard. Draw two new cards. Does he find a DCE or not? Uh, we also know that we have a, a Fighting Energy in our hand for next turn. Okay. Um... Yeah, because we, we put a Fighting Energy in our hand with a, with a puzzle, so we can just, you know, do that as well. Okay. So let's see what else is what does what else does Brandon have here? It looks like he's debating a card in this hand. A fight energy to the uh, rock rough. All right, so that's not a knockout right now. Uh, he really can't do too much with that fight energy. We see a choice band going down to the rock rough. <clears throat> uh, we see a Guzma going to bring up our. Let's see who's he bringing up. <clears throat> going to bring up a Zorark. Okay. And we are going to see <laughs> Rockruff do 80 damage right now. I think that's what it does. I think he does 10 plus Choice Man 30. Uh, 30 more, so 40. Uh, let's see another Rockruff come down. And we will see 80 damage coming down to our Zork. <laughs> I, think, uh, I, th I think I actually put 60 on there first. <laughs> so on my turn, going to draw a card. All right, so what do we need to find now? We need to find like a Guzma. Um, we have an N in our hand. I'm just looking through our discard our deck right now. Let's see what can we do here. All right. Um, we're still it's still not one just yet. So we look at see how many cards are left in our deck. Okay, we get that many. Uh, we see trade number one. Maybe looking for a Guzma. Could bring up a Zora. Uh, we have an Ace Roll in hand, so Ace Roller can pick up our damaged Zark, which is really nice. And uh, just be able to take a knockout on this Rock Ruff. All right, so. We'll see maybe another trade discard that Zora that's in our hand. And we have a DC as well. We have so many cards in our hand that we can do here. Um, <laughs> Alright, so see another trade. Uh, just drawing two more cards. Okay. Now we have a Guzma. Um, Guzma will allow us to win the game right now. We'll see a DC going to the active. Okay. And we're just see a knockout. Uh, go down to one price card. I guess I want to save the Ace Roller just in case. Uh, I don't know. I guess I didn't play the Ace Roller for some reason. So on to Brandon's turn. Let's see what can he do here. I mean, can he really do anything? He has to be able to knock out a Lycanroc. I don't think he can really do that this turn. Um, we have a Fight Energy, so we go for Dangerous Rogue GX. We can knock out a Rock Ruff or Zora next turn. Uh, we have a Guzma, and it is not looking good for Brandon. That's all I can really say right now. Uh, one thing he could do is maybe go Enhanced Hammer in and hope we don't find another DCE. So we see a trade, discarding Guzma, drawing two new cards. Man, if we had a Guzma last time, we would have won the game. Uh, you saw me not use the other train, and the reason why is, man, just in case he has, like, Team Rocket's handiwork or something. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to be safe. I don't want to train too many times and then he Team Rocket's handiworks or something like that. <laughs> I don't know what's in his deck. Uh, so that's why I didn't trade the second time. You know, the third time is what you're probably asking. Why not trade the third time? Uh, just because of that, I don't want to uh, be Team Rocket handiwork and <laughs> lose the game that way. So as you brand, I'm going to use Double Buzzle. Uh, try to find a DC and an N. I imagine is what we're going to see here. Um, so there's the N. And I imagine we'll see a DC as well. Let's see, he already has DC in hand. Oh, he already has DC in hand. Uh, so maybe grabbing a Zork. <clears throat> he, yeah, he really needs to evolve his, Zor his Zora and his, and his Rock Ruffs. If they, you know, if we find a Guzma energy, well, no matter what, if we find an energy next turn, we win. We just dangerous road, we take a knockout, who cares? Or it doesn't matter. We haven't used our, our attack yet. So see N and DC going to our hand, okay? We haven't used our GX attack. So see DC going to the active. We'll see it in. Um, Most likely we'll see it in here, I think. 
Oh, field blower, get rid of the uh, choice man off the bench. And there's an end. So here we go, guys. We'll get one card. But we do have two trades. All right. We know there's a fighting energy in there. I don't know there's none of the DCE. But here we go. Brandon will get three. I get one. And it all comes down to do we find an energy or not, guys. All right. So here we go. <clears throat> Both players are going to set up. Whoo. All right. So we get one card. Brandon will get three. Uh, he's got a DC for next turn. All right. Does Brandon have anything or not? Maybe we'll see a crushing hammer come out. Maybe discard the fighting energy off the bench, Lycanroc. <laughs> uh, it's pretty much his only out. So let's see. We'll send up the Lycanroc with draw card. And we have a strong energy. And we'll go for that dangerous rogue GX. And we will become Memphis League Cup champion. Back to back, actually. We actually won the last Memphis League Cup as well. So now we've, we, uh, we've won both Memphis League Cups. I don't know how many people can say they won back to back League Cups in the same area. That's a pretty cool thing to achieve. Maybe for some reason, we maybe win all four Memphis League Cups. That would be a pretty cool thing to see this season. Uh, guys, there we go. We take down the mirror match. Uh, we win with our Lycanroc Zorak deck, and there is the champion mat. And, uh, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I, I'm just excited that I did win this, you know, uh, took the, the the champ home for Memphis, you know, for Memphis, won Memphis, and now uh, we're good to go. We did have a Guzma left in deck. You see, there is a Guzma, and... <laughs> If we would have hit the Guzma, we could have took a knockout earlier. But like I said, just in case he played Team Rocket's uh, handiwork, did it go to too greedy there. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Probably the next time I have a League Cup is probably the next Memphis League Cup. Because usually that's what I record. I really haven't been recording outside of this area. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions for this, let me know. I would love to take feedback uh, from these videos, guys. But hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. We're now, uh, we are now we won two League Cups so far. Uh, so if you're wondering, I'm at 172 championship points, so uh, almost halfway there, and I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye.